Yellowstone is more than just a national park filled with stunning geysers and bubbling hot springs is one of the largest and most potentially dangerous supervolcanoes on Earth. Now, researchers from the University of New Mexico have made a breakthrough that could sharpen our ability to predict future eruptions and potentially save lives. It's incredibly satisfying to see this kind of work come together, said Tobias Fischer. Distinguished Professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at UNM, reflecting on a years-long effort that's just yielded its most compelling results yet. Each new puzzle piece brings us closer to understanding Yellowstone's volcanic system. More detailed modeling might reveal subtle changes in gas release over time. Researchers aim to use advanced seismic methods, better data coverage, and more robust computer simulations in future. These efforts could give clearer pictures of structures that help contain magma and other large volcanic areas. Fisher collaborated with fellow researcher Professor Brandon Schmant, a geophysicist who launched the project with one core question in mind. What's going on deep beneath Yellowstone? Brandon really initiated this, said Fisher. He wanted to understand the composition of the magma beneath Yellowstone, how much gas or volatiles, it contains and exactly where that magma is located right now. Despite Yellowstone's last major eruption occurring roughly 70,000 years ago, the vast volcanic system that produced it is still very much alive beneath the surface. The park's hydrothermal system, the geysers, hot springs, and mud pots are all expressions of the heat and activity below. They're beautiful, but they're also clues, Fisher explained. To get clearer picture of what lies below, the team used a specialized technique involving man-made earthquakes generated with a thumper truck, a heavy vehicle designed to send vibrations deep into the ground. This allowed them to create what Fisher called a CT scan of the subsurface, providing an unprecedented look at Yellowstone's inner workings. What they found was both fascinating and significant, a volatile rich cap, a layer loaded with gas, sitting directly atop the magma chamber. This cap contains large amounts of water and CO2. These gases escape from rising magma and accumulate at shallower levels. That accumulation point is key, Fisher said. Back in the lab at UNM, the team analyzed gas samples using advanced instruments to track how volatiles behave as magma rises. These gases don't just disappear, they move upward and gather at certain depths, and now scientists know where that critical accumulation happens. The imaging gave us a detailed snapshot of the whole system, how much water there is, how porous the rock is, how much magma is present, and where it all sits, Fisher noted. What's more, Fisher pointed out that Yellowstone's system bears striking similarities to another supervolcano, the Valles Caldera in New Mexico. Though smaller in scale, the Valles Caldera also produced massive eruptions about a million years ago and provides an important comparative case study for what might happen in Yellowstone's future. Together, these discoveries are helping to build a clearer, more accurate picture of one of the planet's most closely watched geologic systems. And in Fisher's view, that's not just good science, it's essential for public safety.